So if you're using Mixamo, you just might be getting this error here. And it's one that I haven't heard a lot of talk about, but I have seen it on the internet in probably about one place. So you want to upload a new character. So you go to upload a new character. You've done the FBX just like you learned online and it uploads. You wait a little while, blah, 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 blah. Some time passes, hopefully not too much. And it says, sorry, unable to map your existing skeleton. But you did everything you were you thought you were supposed to. And you know, I don't know the I don't know when this happened, but I noticed recently I've also been having this issue uploading characters into Mixamo. And the fix is pretty easy. So if I go ahead and open up Blender and I look at my actually let's open up a new version. So if I open up a new version of, or I open up any version of the character that you're using, chances are in your character, you're using something other than just normal and diffuse map. So uh, big shout out to Javier. Javier asked me this question. He's one of my students from Skillshare. And in his, in his materials, he's using a roughness map. Now there's nothing wrong with using a roughness map. He's using it in his uh, his hoodie here and he's using a denim material, which uses both a roughness and a metallic map. Now, for whatever reason, when you're exporting FBX into Mixamo, Mixamo doesn't like it when you use anything other than a base color and a normal map. So the easy fix is you can just disconnect your roughness and metallic map. And you need to do that for all the ones that have it being something different. So I'm just going to disconnect this here. Now, all of my materials now, I have a bunch of different materials and some of them even have textures, but I'm not using anything other than normal maps and diffuse maps. Uh, and there's a diffuse map up here as well. So you don't actually have to delete anything, but you do have to get, well, you have to delete the connection. So now when I export this, I'm going to go ahead and make sure everything's selected. I'm going to say file save because I want those changes in the final. And I can say file export, and we're going to pick FBX here. And when I'm importing or when I'm exporting, sorry, the FBX, I am going to want to do a copy. Click copy here for path. Make sure you click here. This will ensure that all the textures come along with it. The other thing that I always do, but isn't necessary, I go ahead and because Blender is a Y forward software, so I click Y forward and you can see that here that Z is up and Y is forward. So Y is forward, Z is up, just like it says. I'm going to call this simple test. I'm actually going to call it two because I'm doing this for the second time. And then I simply say export. So if I go ahead and minimize that and I open up here, I have simple two. So I'm going to say upload character. I'm going to take that simple two, drop it in here. And it's going to take a little while at first, just like it always does. So maybe I could tell you a joke. I don't, I don't actually know any jokes, but ah, it's done. All I had to do was talk about telling you a joke. So you can see that it was, that it uploaded successfully. So at this point that bypasses the problem. Um, just if you haven't seen this before, Mixamo is super easy to do when you're rigging, except when you run into problems like this, right? So super easy to do when you're doing the rigging, you just put everything in its proper place. Hopefully I put the wrist in the correct place. Let's see, does it say wrist? Oh, I guess we'll see in a moment if I mess that up sometimes. Oh, yep, that's elbow and that's wrist. So I'm gonna hit next. And actually this is the part that tends to take the most time. I, you know, I don't know what algorithms they're using to do this kind of thing, but I am very grateful because they do a much better job, at least historically, then Blender's native auto rigging or auto painting. So that's what that's typically what you're doing. You're doing weight painting in Blender. This does a much easier job. 
The other thing I will say, if you have a character, it's much easier to rig a character that's kind of got thin limbs than it is to do a character that's kind of rounded shape. One of the characters I was doing for one of my projects has a big belly, kind of like a Santa Claus belly, if you're familiar with that. And oh my gosh, it was such a pain. Okay, so we're done here. And you can see if I can get the right angle. Now it's a little, it came out a little bit weird only because uh, it's just the way it was set up in Blender. If, it, if the model was a little bit higher, it probably would have been fine. So I can just hit next. It's telling me, hey, you did a great job. And now when we're looking at that, everything looks good. So if I pick a any kind of animation here, you can see that it works. Now, if you're wondering why the view was weird, um, on this model, it's set up where the head is at the origin. So if, if had we done it where the feet are at the origin, the beginning, the beginning view wouldn't we wouldn't have had to move it, but it's not really a problem. I'm just letting you know why that happened. So if you were getting that error, hopefully you won't be getting any. Hopefully you won't be getting it anymore. Big shout out to Javier for asking the question. I hope this helps you out.